Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, <clears throat> trend update, Nahum's tomb in the news. And we are October 28, 2017. Fighting between the Kurds and Iraq is approaching the village of al Kosh, north of Mosul or ancient Nineveh. And I have the little red cursor on the town that is al Kosh. Uh, al Kosh is home to the prophet Nahum. This is the burial place of Nahum. And the prophet was buried roughly 2,700 years ago. Now today, this is a Christian community. Scripture reference is out of Nahum 1 verse 1, an oracle concerning Nineveh, the book of vision of Nahum of al Kosh. Now Nahum writes about the future destruction and judgment of Nineveh, which is a modern-day Mosul to the south of it. Um, Nahum, his name means comfort or consolation. And El Kosh uh, is believed to be down here somewhere between Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip. So, and that's per Nelson's complete book of Bible maps and charts. Um, so we're going to zoom in up here on El Kosh, Mosul. And locals are nervous as the conflict <clears throat> conflict draws closer. The following is a quote from Ksenia Svetlova of Zionist UN Union MK. Now she leads a group in the Israeli Knesset. And Svetlova believes in the protection of Jewish culture and heritage in Arab and Muslim countries. And here's a quote from her. Uh, as Iraqi forces approach the town of al -Kosh, the danger to the historic tomb of Prophet Nahum is growing. I'm concerned that the warfare in the region between the Iraqi forces and the Kurdish Peshmerga will result in the destruction of the tomb that was once a center for Jewish pilgrimage from all parts of Iraq. I urge the American authorities to protect the Jewish shrine of the Prophet Nahum at Al Kosh before it's too late. And if you're interested in that, there's a link provided to jpost.com, Tomb of Jewish Prophet in Danger Amid Iraq Kurdish Tensions. So, something to keep an eye on. The Prophet's back in the news. Let the Prophet rest. Nahum 1, verse 2 The Lord is jealous and avenging God. Uh, the Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and keeps wrath for his enemies. So, you know, at some point, Nahum wrote about the future judgment of Mosul. In the cliff notes, there'll be lots of fighting, looting, destruction, and then this river breaks and floods out Mosul, and this dam is in a constant state of disrepair. And, you know, with the recent fighting, it was controlled by the Kurds. Now the Iraqis have control of it again. That, that dam has changed hand three times three times in the last four years. So interesting times. If you're interested, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com key category, Mosul, Nineveh, Nahum. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye.